In today's increasingly competitive and uncertain business environment, organizations fighting for customers face a number of factors and issues which they may not be able to control and which affect performance. Professional accountants have a vital role to play in commercial success by using their increasingly valuable knowledge in a way which gives the organizations or clients a competitive advantage. Accountants operate at many levels and in several different roles within all types of organizations. Although some accountants operate in an advisory role to management, others go on to managerial positions within firms of accountants which they themselves may own on the board of public limited companies or in the public or voluntary sector. An accounting background has proved invaluable to many people who have progressed to be directors and chief executives of large multinational companies or their own companies as it provides them with crucial knowledge and insight into business. The Institute of Certified Public Accountants of Kenya, ISPAC, which is the professional organization for certified public accountants in Kenya, established under the Accountants Act No. 15 of 2008, has dedicated itself to the development and regulation of the accountancy profession in Kenya so as to enhance its contribution and that of its members to national economic growth and development. Many ISPAC registered accountants serve in the country in various capacities within appropriate business and financial parameters. The future of ISPAC is bright. We want, of course, in our governance role to enhance public confidence and we are very um, uh, eager to see uh, ISPAC playing a very critical role in providing public confidence and governance. Since its establishment 38 years ago, ISPAC has the responsibility of promoting, reviewing and enforcement of high standards of service and performance in the accounting profession. The, uh, the issue of uh, having many people prophesying as auditors or claiming to be auditors and they are not licensed by the institute. Uh, in short, we call them uh, quacks uh, because they are not licensed. They are not even qualified to be auditors. And uh, the way we handle this challenge, we continue to do uh, national raids all over the regions in the country just to ensure only those who are licensed as, uh, as auditors are practicing because it has a huge reputation damage uh, on our institute and the profession at large. We have um, a very strong department on compliance and, um, um, the, and quality assurance. As what they do is uh, they do some raids um, in the towns where we have those quacks and we collaborate information of the, uh, the quacks by working very closely with our branch leaders. We have nine branches so they give us information of guys who are practicing in towns and they're not our members. So we do raids and uh, definitely any time they hear ISPAC is coming, we find them closing shop. But that's just uh, scratching the surface. What we want to do is to enhance uh, the regulatory framework so that uh, the penalties which are provided for in the Accountants Act are enhanced to become more punitive. The Institute has witnessed rapid growth in its membership which stand at over 18,000. This has positioned ISPAC as an influential voice of the accounting profession globally. This is the joy of the Institute's first members. I feel proud. <laughs> huh? I just happened to have been registered at the time we were starting the, the, the profession, which was way back in, uh, in 1978, 77-78. With the paltry 400 members in 1978, now we have grown in leaps and bounds, where we boast of membership of 18,000. Uh, ISPAC has a very bright future in that uh, one where we are currently, if I want to project the future of ISPAC from its current position, uh, ISPAC is a globally recognized professional body. We are members of the International Federation of Accountants, and, uh, uh, and many of our members serve in various boards and committees uh, for the International Federation of Accountants. So we are globally recognized. We are also members of the Pan-African Federation of Accountants, which is the continental, African continental body for accountancy profession. And uh, we are among the top five big institutes in this continent that are very significant in the policy direction of that, uh, of that uh, continental body. Uh, we, we do have a broad position in that, in that body. 
the membership of ISPAC has grown significantly. That is a clear indication that over the period of time, we've had new accountants joining the profession and joining ISPAC as a, a regulatory body to the profession. In its efforts to develop the profession in alignment with the nation's progress and development, the Institute has been at the forefront in ensuring that more women are given opportunities to be members. The greatest success story for me is the fact that after 25 years, the Institute was able to elect me a lady, first lady chair, man of the Institute. For me, that demonstrated that one, the Institute had grown, it had matured enough to recognize that you cannot leave a section of your um, colleagues out, you had to bring them on board. The Institute of Certified Public Accountants um, promotes the accountancy profession in this country um, and the Institute in my view has contributed a lot to promoting the accountancy profession in this country, ensuring that uh, more and more men and women join the accountancy profession. ISPAC has over the years strengthened its ties with strategic stakeholders such as the National Treasury, the Parliament, the Auditor General, the Controller of Budget, Business Advocacy Fund, Kenya Revenue Authority and other stakeholders in capacity building initiatives that focus on public policy and governance. Uh, obviously over the years, uh, CASNEB and the uh, ICPK have worked very closely in order to get us uh, where uh, we are. As, as you already know, uh, both uh, the Institute and CASNEB are in fact established under the same law, that is the Accountants uh, Act, um, which was of course uh, uh, revised uh, in 2008, so we now have the Accountants Act number 15 of 2008. Um, we are in the process of uh, again reviewing the Act in order to align it with the uh, new constitutional dispensation and also to enhance uh, some of the areas where we feel um, we need to strengthen, like the disciplinary uh, mechanism, uh, to also see whether we can provide for the uh, accounting technicians uh, who have gone through the examinations, but uh, we have not yet uh, found a home for them. But I think it is important uh, that uh, we regulate everybody who is playing a role uh, within the accountancy uh, framework in order to ensure that uh, only those people who are qualified to do so uh, are engaged in providing uh, the services uh, to uh, the people. Because should and uh, there have been occasions where there have been persons who present themselves as accountants when they are not or maybe as accounting technicians when they are not that does have a reputational risk uh, both to the institute and to the examinations uh, body and therefore it is important that the law is enhanced in order to uh, make the necessary provisions uh, for, for, for that. As an institute that is founded on trust and integrity ISPAC supports the Controller of Budget's call for involvement of administrators on matters of public funds. The Institute is concerned that county governments have failed to constitute internal audit committees as per the established law. Most counties have gone ahead to establish internal audit departments, but have failed to establish internal audit committees which are key in enhancing management controls. It is a recommendation of the Institute that counties should ensure that public funds are spent within the confines of established law and corporate governance principles. This will strengthen county public finance management systems, particularly the revenue raising mechanisms and fiscal responsibility for Kenyans to enjoy the fruits of devolution. The relationship uh, between the ISPAC and uh, the Office of the Auditor General is very, very clear. The mandate of the Office of the Auditor General is uh, one of them is to certify the accounts of the government, national, county, public bodies, projects, and so forth. As for the accounts of um, the, the national and uh, county, the certification must be based on institute standards, on auditing standards, on accounting standards. And therefore, the institute pronunciations have a direct bearing on the way we work, and indeed, almost 40% of my staff effective are institute members. 
so that's a very clear um, uh, relationship and uh, indeed uh, uh, as a strong person, a strong institution which the institute should uh, leverage with. Our country needs ever increasing number of accountants and the institute is really uh, filling that gap and indeed the institute compared to many other institutes in Africa the Kenyan Institute is, is like one of the mother institutes of the African institutes so Ken the ISPAC our institute is very strong and the, I see it growing each day by the number of CPAs we are having in my, in my organization and outside. Like when I have now recruitment, literally a number of people will be CPA qualified, which is good. The institute has been very vocal in promoting governance in the country. As you are aware, the institute has uh, participated in the appointment of uh, uh, certain constitutional offices, such as mine. Actually, the chair, the, the, the institute is a member of the panel that uh, recru recruited the control of budget and also the auditor general. So in general, I think the institute has been very, very visible in areas of governance, uh, promoting the accountancy profession in the country. Uh, dealing with the issues that really affect affect uh, the country, especially issues that touch on governance, issues that touch on how the economy is performing. Therefore, if you look at the mandate of the institute and you look at the mandate of uh, of the office of the control of budget, we the two institutions converge because of. Um, um, dealing with governance issues and in fact the office has collaborated with the Institute in terms of handling governance issues offering training to especially the uh, county um, leadership we have trained uh, uh, county our county budget coordinators we have also trained some members of the county assemblies and we have been partnering with the ISPAC in that area. ISPAC membership continues to be devolved in line with the devolved system of governance. The institute is expanding its reach to serve its valued members scattered throughout the country. When the branch is started here, we had already asked, we had agreed not to ask, we had agreed with the ISPAC that we should be having our own tuition, that is, our seminars. In, 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 in our region, in here, in all of that, the cost of transport, cost of sleeping would be reduced. That is the best benefit I've seen. Secondly, it combines, it, uh, it, uh, it, it, it gives all the members within the region a chance to be together. When they are together, they know one another. Once they have known one another, if anything at all happens to one of them, we contribute for their uh, funeral and uh, all sorts of things, doing that one because we know them personally. The third one <clears throat> is one thing that um, it encourages young people who are intending to become accountants that it is possible, it's a possible uh, a profession one can do because the rest have done it. And another one is one thing that um, so being together has made the issue of satisfied account and have so many uh, of, uh, members in this, in this area. Coupled with the expansion strategy, ISPAC is also encouraging young accountants to take up various leadership roles. The institute continues to emphasize on member services and recruitment through recognition of its members who continue to support the accounting profession. In December, 2015, ISPAC conferred the first honorary fellowship of the Institute of Certified Public Accountants of Kenya to former President of Kenya, His Excellency Mwai Kibaki, who has worked with the Institute from its inception and into maturity. During its inauguration in 1978, 
President Kibaki graced the occasion of the then Vice President of the Republic of Kenya. In August 2010, he also inaugurated the current national constitution whose chapter 6 reserved leadership of key public offices for appropriate professionals, namely the Auditor General and the Controller of Budget. Fellow CPS, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you His Excellency HCPA, Honorable Mwai Kibaki. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a most welcome thing to get a, a, a particular mark of that nature, which I don't know precisely how it will be put, but it will be put very high somewhere by me. I'm not asking who else will wear it. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much. I'm very grateful to it. I have no doubt in my mind that fully committed, well coordinated, and ethical accountants are capable of countering graft, financial malpractices, and the poor government governance that threaten to slow down our economic and social progress. That is of the institutes where the president participated in one of our major events, the inauguration of the first Africa Congress of Accountants. Thank you very much. At the global level, ISPA contribution to the accountant's profession is well recognized, a fact that led to the appointment of ISPA former chairman of FCPA, Patrick Ntange, to IFAC nominating committee. ISPA, uh, as I see it, is one of those institutions that has been uh, uh, critical to the development of this country, especially in promoting the profession of accountancy. As you know, uh, accountancy is part of one of the pillars uh, in, in, in leadership, which is governance. So accountability as one of the components of governance uh, is at the core of, of, of our nation. And suffice to say that uh, in a nation of currently 40 million people uh, requires the skills of our profession in order to, one, ensure that uh, as a vision of this country uh, to be a financial hub for Africa and the region, it requires the skills of accountancy. And therefore our, our institute finds itself in a very strategic position to be able to regularize, regulate, and promote the profession for the country to achieve uh, that uh, vision. The Institute remains focused in identifying priority services areas to enable it to deliver the greatest value to its members. This is why at the heart of all its activities is the newly constructed ISPA complex, which the Institute expects to move in in the course of the year. This project will ensure sustainable long-term development and sustainability of service delivery to ISPAC members and thereby enable the Institute to achieve its mandate of developing and regulating the accountancy profession in Kenya. As part of its corporate social responsibility, the Institute's members continue to conduct various outreach programs that have increased ISPAC's visibility. The Institute launched a scholarship scheme last year where three students were selected to pursue four-year university education in Kenya. All in all, as professionals, ISPAC members are called upon to continue acting responsibly according to their norms in order not to tarnish their individual image, that of their professional bodies and the organizations that they work for, plus safeguarding the interests of patrons, donors, cooperating partners and sponsors, and probably not to incur the wrath of the penalty of having their licenses suspended or cancelled or their activities prohibited. Uh, our Accountants Act I can tell you is, uh, is a bit weak. So we are addressing uh, the challenge of the weak Accountants Act uh, with regard to disciplinary action. Looking at the future, the means ISPAC 1 will grow in membership, will continue to grow in terms of influence, 
uh, both uh, globally, continentally, and even locally. We continue to become partners of influence uh, we, within our engagements with the stakeholders. We have very many stakeholders. If you get to a strategic plan, they are clearly mapped there. And uh, with that kind of space, I just say, ISPAC is, uh, has already taken off, and we are getting far.